For my biographical presentation, I chose Montina Honer. Her area of focus was women's achievement motivation. Her research interest included intelligent motivation and achievement of women. She is the most well known for pioneering the concept of fear of success. Fear of success focuses on motivation to achieve, probability of success, task value, and consequences of success. Honer was born in Roxbury, Massachusetts. She received her bachelor's degree in experimental psychology in 1961 from Brain Moore College, a master's degree in 1963, and a Ph.D. in psychology from the University of Michigan in 1968. While at the University of Michigan, she wrote an honors thesis on need achievement for Greek and Jewish communities. As a graduate student of the University of Michigan, Honer's early psychological research focused on intelligence, motivation, and achievement. Noticing that very little of the research in these subfields paid attention to women's motivation for success, she took up this topic as her primary research interest. Following the completion of her Ph.D. in 1968 and earning a lecturer position at the University of Michigan, Horner was invited to join Harvard University's Department of Social Relations as a lecturer in 1969. Earning the role of assistant professor in the department's personality and development wing just one year later. Three years following her appointment at Harvard, Horner was selected to become the sixth president of Ratcliffe College a women's liberal arts college founded in 1879 with the purpose of offering women equal access to Harvard's facility and resources. At 32 years old, Honer was the youngest president elected in the history of Ratcliffe College. The relationships between Harvard University and Ratcliffe having to share Montina Honer had involved, evolved into what was known as the non-merger merger. Honer negotiated a new agreement with Harvard in 1977 that reestablished Ratcliffe's financial independence with its own administrative governing board, research programs, and a new oversight role and special programs for undergraduate women. By 17, 1975, however, the long debate over whether the merged Ratcliffe and Harvard came to an end. The administrative office, respective to each college, resolved to combine both schools and declared the removal of a quota on the number of female students admitted. Honer's influence on the politics of academics did not stop there. In 1977, Honer reinstated Ratcliffe's financial independence in a new agreement with Harvard, allowing for the college to oversee its own research programs and to facilitate special educational programs for undergraduate women. Further addressing the un the underrepresentation of ten tenure female professors at Harvard, Honer encouraged female junior facility members to publish by founding a special book published program known as the Ratcliffe Bi Biography Series. One of the program's first publications entitled Women in Crisis became bestseller in 1978. During her time at Ratcliffe and Harvard, Martin Tina Honer played a crucial role in bringing a new academic focus to the experience of women and to women's rights. I would personally like to give credit to the Psychology Feminist Voices website for the information. Thank you.